Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have two new Britney Spears perfumes from her fantasy range that have been released. We have Fantasy Sheer and we have Electric Fantasy. So I'm gonna be letting you know what these two new ones smell like and give you my first impressions and review. If you're interested in the fantasy range, there have been so many versions of fantasy now. I do have an article on my blog that takes you through the difference between each one. So I'll leave that link down below. But if you're new here, then hi and welcome we're all about perfumes so check out my hundreds and hundreds of other perfume videos I've been re reviewing all the new releases from Britney over the past few years and if you're a regular do check if you're subscribed hit that subscribe button turn on notifications show your support I really appreciate it and you can support me by signing up to my newsletter down below or becoming a channel member or on patreon and I will leave the links to where you can buy both these perfumes down below in the description box in UK Europe and North America I know these are out in the UK. I'm not sure if they're all out in America yet, both of them, but um, when I find them, I'll put the links down below. Cool, so I think I'm gonna start with Fantasy Sheer. This is the full size 100 ml. As you can see, it's like a transparent pink bottle. Um, usually they're not this transparent. This is one of the most transparent ones. And we have silver diamantes on. The Fantasy bottles always have some kind of diamante on and the way that I would describe this perfume it really is like a sheer version of the original fantasy it's like a lighter bit fresher version so original fantasy which is very much still sold and um, I think it's coming up for 20 years soon that's been out it is a sweet cupcake vanilla cupcake and then it has quite a tangy kiwi note really strong in it as well and it's very unique there aren't many perfumes that have kiwi as such a main note and it's very very sweet and it's also really good for lasting but a lot of people say that it's too strong it's too sweet it's too much so I would say that this new one fantasy sheer is for people that find original fantasy too much so we do still have that signature cupcake note it's complemented with some water lily lily of the valley and some citrusy lychee notes so it's kind of softened and made a bit fresher and more watery citrusy and more floral. So even though it is still sweet, it's like a more delicate sweet. The only thing I found with this is that the lasting power wasn't great. Original Fantasy is known for having really good lasting power and projection. And I think because this is a much you know, more subtle version of it. It doesn't have the same strength and projection, doesn't have the same lasting power. After a few hours, you really have to go up to your skin to be able to smell it. So the other new release is Electric Fantasy. It's kind of weird how many new Britney Spears perfumes we've had over the past year or so, considering there's all this drama around Free Britney, Britney and the conservatorship and everything. I don't know how much she's actually involved in any of these, but the Electric Fantasy is definitely more what I normally expect from a Britney perfume. It's got that real strength, lasting power. When I've been wearing it today, you can really smell it all the time. I'd say it's a little bit more grown up than some of the fantasies we've had in the past. It doesn't have that super sweet vibe to it. Instead, it has jasmine and heliotrope, an ambery base, and then pink pepper and some passion fruit in the top note. So for me, the jasmine, the heliotrope, kind of makes this feel like a lot of the new releases we've seen over the past year or two. Uh, Jimmy Choo, I Want Choo, Volsha Viva, mm. Carolina Herrera, good girl. It's that type of vibe, but with a little bit of fruity passion fruit added as well. So you could definitely layer this with any of those jasmine perfumes if you wanted to, um, perhaps a less expensive way to like get more of the smell, or you could um, perhaps take this, this is a little 30 mil, take this out with you to top up a more expensive jasmine perfume that you've put on in the morning it could definitely work with those type of perfumes to help them be a bit stronger. I think you would get compliments on this, I think people would be able to smell it on you. So it's definitely a more like mature, uh, grown up fragrance from the range. And I do think it will do well because it has that lasting power and because it's really hitting that type of fragrance note which is super popular at the moment that strong jasmine it's kind of like aliens cute baby sister and the bottle's cool it comes in this bright pinky purple bottle with 
silver diamantes. So interesting, we have like, was it Electrify from Paris Hilton was her latest release. They all seem to copy each other and have these like same names. So we'll see who else is the next electric perfume. Um, but I definitely, like this one this is definitely soaky approved i think it's a good buy the fantasy sheer i'm less excited about um i think it's only for someone that wants a britney perfume but wants it to be really light um i would say stick with the original if you want the same smell but you know stronger sweeter um but electric fantasy i think is a great perfume so guys let me know have you been able to try any of these what do you think which is your favorite let me know what your favorite britney spears fantasy perfume is i do read all the comments but that's it guys so thanks so much for watching as always and i will see you in the next video bye